This playthrough is rated T for teen. Just put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking out the door. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von are here with a finale of of uh, Cthulhu Saves Christmas. In the last episode, we defeated the uh, the giantess and stopped her from meeting children, but she told us that eventually the final uh, final member would appear, and this time it's Krampus is the one who's kidnapped Santa Claus, so we must reach the top of Tenenbaum and save him. So will this be a Merry Christmas? Let's find out. Let's talk to everyone, see what they say about this. Put me down and wrap me up. I love Tenenbaum. Oh, Tenenbaum, oh, Tenenbaum. Oh, wait, I forgot the song of that. Anyway, wait, why is she sticking her tongue out? Dot, dot, dot. The tree, this tree is lit. All right, you need to stop talking and uh, Zoomer speak. Dot, dot, dot. You better mistletoe the line, Cthulhu, and don't get your tinsel in a twist, or you'll never get your powers back. Stop! Just stop! <laughs> Too bad no one else says anything, so. Alright, uh. Yeah, I guess just go through it. So, 15 final battles and all that other fun stuff, so. Alright, new enemies. Warlock. 1440 HP, weak to earth, poison, uh, stun, and enrage. All the power comes from its hat. It is a pretty nice hat, so. Oh, I forgot to summon the uh, insane ability, so I'll have to swap that out, so. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. Uh, yeah, we'll just do what we normally do before. Might change up the strategy here for the end, but for now. Uh, oh, right, I don't have all hit ability. Um... I almost finished him off anyway. Uh, we'll defend and then get that 200 down. Obviously, since these are the early ones, we don't have to worry too much about about them being dangerous. It's when they start doing the combos together that we have to worry. Looks like they do a ton of wind damage overall. All right, it hit 32. Uh, let's see, Baba get chicken, chickens, uh, chicken eyes. Your ne next move is chicken. All right, and nothing for Bell Snickle. All right. Some of these moves are, some of these abilities are just like weird. I like the look of this place. Overall, the art design for this game is very solid for being an RPG-ish. I wouldn't say straight up RPG maker. It's more inspired because I don't think it uses that engine. They use their own engine now. But when they when they made Breath of Death, they used the RPG maker engine. You got a taunting whip. This weapon is for Bell Snickle. It proves defenses. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip everyone's final st or best stuff or whatever. Uh, yep. So okay. So that one made the candy ability reusable, though. Mm. <laughs> Taunting whip. Ouch! Stop that! <laughs> oh, and your, uh, and your resistances go up a bit. Nice. Um, yeah, I guess so. All right. Uh, let's see. Didn't I also get a better coat for him, too? Or maybe not. Maybe it was an item I got. Okay. Maybe it was the candy. Let's see. Yeah, pepper. Looks like his candy doesn't... None of this candy ever does gives him any unique abilities, or at least the ones I got, anyway. But it gives him uh, 40 and everything, so, so yeah. Um, well, it doesn't raise his uh, line, uh, ailment up, though. That'll be fine. And it gives me five resistances to everything, so. But what's say peppermint? Yeah, my, minty goodness. Uh, let's see. I don't think I got any new abilities. I think we're good on her stuff. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I think I, I think she has the best one. Oh, no, that's she got. Uh, I almost thought about just giving her... Nah, I want her to have a really good... Let's see, either give her high power with ice damage or give her just overall stats better. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Let's see, Freaky Sword still best. Mary Tunic. Yeah, overall better. Oh yeah, uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay. Uh, let me swap out. Let me put a uh, insanity in so we can. Uh, 
All right, got another new enemy. Ice Shark, HP 3,469, weak to fire, poison, and stun. Sneaks up on ice bathers. Uh-oh, don't want to be an ice bather then. No, are any of them weak to poison? They all are, so. Probably better to finish off the, the weak guy. Or not. When I misclick. But that's fine. Yeah, I'm not doing as much poison damage as I used to. Back at... Because uh, when it was one creature, I was doing like 300 damage to them via poison. Hmm. Straightforward fights, nothing too crazy. There you go. And for the final fights, nothing. The only, I guess, the only real major challenge is the uh, uh, damage they do over time. Uh, Christmas robe. This armor for Crystal improves her duration of the Good Cheer ability. See what that gives her. Yeah, it loses out an ailment, so she can't stun as easily. Good cheer buff duration increased. Last worn by the Ghost of Christmas Present. Raises her uh, overall defenses pretty highly. Uh, what's her good cheer ability again? Let me see. Oh, that's the. Okay, regenerate one. Okay. I mean, that would probably be one to have in my inventory for use, if that's the case. Yeah, right, we'll swap it out later. I don't think it's super important right this second. But... Yeah, look at that. The, the whole town is festive. Anyway, we got a new enemy here. Quake Bat. 1,972 HP. We do physical, stun, and or, yeah, uh, or wind, and charm. Really good at FPS games. <laughs> oh yeah, Quake, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, poison is really not hitting like I want to. You know what I mean? Kind of disappointed actually. Charm was Charm was awesome for a bit, and then. Uh, I don't know, man. I was just... I'm so disappointed. I guess my HP wasn't really maxed. Oh, yeah, because I didn't have a... I don't have her ice ability uh, up anymore. She's not doing as much damage with her ice. And I'm kind of losing out on all that synergy. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, equipping the best stuff. You want to equip it, but... Uh, let's see. At least I still do decent damage with, uh, with that, at least.
Yeah, it looks like we're outside. Wow, look at that. The trees are all fern trees. Or <laughs> yeah, that's fine. All right, we got a new enemy here. Uh, Lord Glubby, 2,448 HP. Weak to darkness, poison, and stun. Very rich, very fish. Very, very rich, man. We all bow down. Oh, that's right, that one does uh, dark damage. Yeah, see how much difference in damage that we take if they're not all insane? That's the challenge is deciding if you make, do you make them mad and uh, increase your damage or, you know. Uh, let's beef up that so we can stun him next turn. Okay, you're, you're powering people up, so I don't like that. Uh, but not everyone's insane, so. <laughs> Gets big eyes. He's like, whoa, man. I've seen it. I've seen the world. Let's see. You're all poisoned. Nice. That gives me a reprieve. Yeah, I didn't realize how much damage I'd lose from unequipping her ice thing, though. Almost dead anyway. Get him with the sword! The sword! But yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy how this game is only like five or six hours long. It doesn't take very long to beat it. And there is some replay value in, uh, in uh, doing the relationships and trying to get all these different rewards and everything like that. But anyway, we got another enemy. Saida! Saida! What are you from Pokemon? 4,000 HP, weak to ice, uh, poison, uh, disarm, and vulnerable. Very dangerous. Approach with caution. Mm. All right. Uh, yeah, might as well make him insane, I guess. Yeah, poison man, just just not doing it, baby. I am so disappointed in, in, in it. Uh, yeah, not much for you to do. Let's just beef up your abilities. I mean, Dark Blast is still a solid, solid punching ability, so. Uh, probably wait till, uh, well, how much, actually, how much damage you got? Yeah. That should be, I was about to say, that should be enough damage. Yeah, a very short, sweet adventure. I think this game is, doesn't cost very much, depending on when you get it. I think it's usually like $10. So if you're, you know, if you don't want to, uh, uh, see, okay, we fought all these guys. If you don't want to, if you're worried about, like, wor worry about, uh, um, if you're worried about trying it for yourself, you know, you can just, uh, you know, plop $10 down or, or whatever, whatever way you get it, so. Yeah, that's just not a lot of damage. Like I said, I was getting 300 before. I guess that 20% uh, poison damage really added up. Although, even with 20%, that wouldn't add much more to it. Yeah, let's try to get rid of you guys first, I guess.
Well, at least someone got stunned, at least. Man, like, that just damage just does not do anything. I really, I'm really tempted to just go back and equip her, equip her other, uh, other, uh, um, other spells again, just to improve their damage again. I mean, it could also be because of the levels, and so they maybe have uh, more resistances or whatever. It's just a little disappointing, then. That's all. Uh, well, you're gonna power up next turn anyway, so. Yeah, that wasn't very much damage at all. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say other than maybe going through. But then again, power affects all of it. I guess just just their levels. Maybe that's just why it just seems like it just seems to be kind of a. Just kind of disappointingly low. I might need to defend. Yeah, we can't finish stuff in like a couple, handful of turns now. Maybe I should go back to. Uh, I'm adjusting everyone just so I can like get through them faster. Let's see. Oh, you're not maxed out, so. <coughs> yeah, didn't do anything. Well, they're not weak to enrage though, so. Have poison on you guys too, but I've got no abilities. I'm out. I'm out. Kind of out on everyone, really. Sorry, I'm recording this a little later than usual, so I'm like, my, uh, I'm trying to keep my brain active, and, uh, it's slowly, slowly wearing down, so. Probably should wait to record this later, but I wanted to get this out before Christmas, so I had to record all these episodes back-to-back, -back, so. That's probably why I'm a little, uh, a little out of it, to tell you the truth. Alright. Let's just get these guys as fast as we can. I'm finishing you off as fast lickety split. I guarantee it. Uh, yeah, just something to do. Man, yeah, taking out that ice stuff really nerfed her power. I was just, she did so much damage before and then it's all gone, all gone. Like a fart in the wind. Then again, I quit the two items I was supposed to do that with her, with her so. Eh. Looks like Torment doesn't even make him insane, so. Not that I was expecting it to, I was just cur more curious than anything. Oh right, I got to take out middle middle dude because of uh, um, powers up everyone, so. Because 
because otherwise they'll get more and more powerful, and I would not want that. No sirree, Bob. Uh, yeah, that's happy. Just fight me. I'm actually kind of curious what that, how that works, because it says next move is chicken, so. Without the power of hyper, it definitely doesn't do as much damage as I would like. Alright, get out of here. Actually, I need to start healing. I'm taking a bit of damage. Wait until I charge up. I was getting up to the 4,000s before, but now, now not so much. Seems we find ourselves a, a challenge. Now right, you're about to die. Well, about to die isn't eventually, someday, one day, at some point in the future, we will find ourselves at a crossroads of death. And maybe, just maybe. I haven't been using enough items though in the game to like really utilize her gift ability. I don't know. I mean, disarm isn't really stopping them really, so what's the point? Jim making me crazy. Yeah, it's kind of, I still find it weird that I'm not finished them off in that, this, uh, ooh, I don't even have anything to really utilize that on. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, it's taking a hot minute to kill everyone now, so. All right, uh, Bell Snickle will get Silver Fox. All 50% charm. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, you got a Christmas coat. This is armor for Bell Snickle. I'll ask him to reuse the Jolly Laugh ability. Let's see, uh, Christmas coat, a treasured Christmas present. Jolly Laugh, huh? See, that's the heal tell ability. <clears throat> okay, using it on ourselves, too. Although, how many times can you taunt? Can you only taunt once? Or can you taunt multiple times? Probably only taunt once. I mean, if I want to heal myself and just keep taunting every turn. Huh. Unfortunately, it's only self, though. That's the only problem with it. And if you do candy on a on high heal, it has uh, gives you that stoppable buff. Well, anyway, I'm still thinking about. It. I mean, he's not really. You're not really supposed. To, you shouldn't really have him attack anyway. It's just. I don't know. Oh wait, no, I already went this way. Never mind. And I'm afraid of like turning everyone crazy just so I don't. Uh, I should just poison, poison, uh, stun, or poison the defense so I can get her poison back every turn, so. That's, a uh, that'd be an interesting strategy, to uh, say the least. Now I got the, uh, that ability. <coughs> Oh, 
I'm almost gonna do that, even though it's probably more effective not to do that, but. Just keep poisoning everyone. I, mean, I could always do the cleanse ability, try and get her ability back if I had that majorly equipped, but I did that, which I don't. But. Just trying to keep getting everyone on me, although it doesn't seem to be working too well. So. Yeah, my damage output is just not, just not really. At least it's all it's working. They're all going after him, so maybe I. Uh, yeah, just to keep trying to get people to go after me. Why not? I could use our one ability now. Yeah, fights are now taking a take a hot minute to go through, so I wanna see what kind of what a hundred percent chicken uh chicken does if you max it out. Yeah, keep fighting me. If, if you will, anyway. If you dare. I, I really wish she had a, oh wait, more attack abilities. There we go. I wonder if you can stack poison like keep hitting him with poison over and over and over again and, and get more damage out of it because I noticed his damage was like a hundred something but when I hit it with poison again it did more damage hmm. does the game actually explain poison damage like what it actually does uh, poison take damage every turn that's it don't, don't tell me if it stacks or if you can hit, uh, hit it with multiple applications I know you can get a better version of poison because like I've done Cthulhu's poison everyone and then I've gotten uh, her poison and her superseded his poison unless it's stacked but I don't think it did. I didn't think that's how that worked but I wonder what would happen if I get poison every turn would it increase the damage output you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Now yeah, let's just make them all insane. See if we can get this to work in our advantage. But yeah, I probably have to stop making everyone go insane now just because of the. Uh, yeah, see, that was only like 79, for example. Let's see. Oh, yeah, everyone. Uh, and it didn't really work. Alright, fine. I didn't even want you to work anyway. What, what, what do you mean? Oh yeah, I gotta get rid of that guy just because he keeps powering up everyone, of course. I know the poison would have finished him off, but, but shut up. Yeah, unfortunately they're hitting all, all of us with their abilities. Yeah, I better... Uh, Better take him to task, otherwise it'll finish me off. Yeah, it's just gonna hit all of us. 
Yeah, the problem with taunts is you can't get them to, if they don't have that ability to hit just one dude, well, there's not much you can really do about it, so. Goodbye. Eh, heal us. Heal us all! That really did, that really did not do the damage I wanted. Just pitiful damage, man. I mean, I know there's probably a way for me to get a better damage, obviously. With Still. Just kind of rushing, rushing through this, really. Been taking advantage of invulnerable and stuff like that to tell you the truth. There you go. Because it does do extra damage because it breaks down to their defenses, so. Alright, I wonder how many fours there actually are, but then again, the fights are. We're almost done with all the fights, so. Void Sword, this weapon for Kugu boosts his dark damage. Alright. I didn't really take advantage of the terrify ability anyway, so. Yeah, not as much ailment, but it gets a lot of healing, speed, and power. And power to speed! Made from a real black hole essence. Huh. And it does do 20% more da dark damage, so. What was terrifying presence again? Oh, terrify, yeah. I wonder if the, uh, what is the tentacles? That's just physical damage. Okay. I mean, I could switch it out to torment instead. Stop doing the, everyone's insane just because they start doing more damage. If you do that, they take more damage, but they do more, but they do more damage too. So that's the toss up, especially if you, I think their ability slightly changed too, if I recall, uh, from that. Like in terms of like damage and stuff, but that is what I mean. I know, like when those uh, bat like the quake bats go insane, for example, I, I swear that they are, uh, um, their rocks turn red and stuff like that instead of just the standard. Instead of the standard like regular rocks, so you know. Uh, the hyper bar next turn, maybe. Yeah, I guess the whole of them hitting me with all their attacks is kind of not fun because that's what they've been doing to me. Is that what I've been doing to these people all this time? Man, I really deserve to be in here. Oh, yeah, damage is definitely gone, gonna, uh, going up, that's for sure. Ow, she's about to die. Uh, yeah, I can have her have her heal her up. Yeah, it'll last for a couple of turns with that speed anyway, so why not? Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, I gotta boost up her egg so we can do the one ability to it. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Man, that's just not, that's not chunking the guy. Oh, I don't want to use an item on his, uh, one turn. Yeah. Hey, at least it did some damage. That ability, I swear, does not do the damage that it, that it, that it proposes that it does, you know what I mean? Oh, I forgot to use the egg ability on her. Dang it. Uh, I 
to boost up her stats, baby. Yeah, see, the rocks change, change color from a... Yeah, I'll wait to do that. Next turn, so we do a ton of damage. Alright. Ha! 4,500 damage. chest. Got a Christmas tunic. This is for Cthulhu. This armor for Cthulhu is so festive. So festive. Did I just get... Let's see. That regenerates HP each turn. This one doesn't do that. I lose... I get a little bit of everything and my resistances go up a bit. Huh. Eh, I don't know. The HP... I, I, I feel like the HP bump is... And I heal a lot better too. Uh, maybe we could try it, I guess. It just seems not worth it. Like the HP, I feel like the HP increase isn't enough to make use of certain things, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. I'm gonna see if, like, if I reuse that again on, on and, like, do poison and then redo it again, see if that actually changes anything. Then again, maybe it also affects if my alignment, if her alignment is higher, would that do it as well, you know what I mean? Yeah, let's try, let's try stacking poison and see if that does anything better, or more damage, without me trying to do anything that would, that would, uh, add to it, you know what I mean? And yeah, you see how insane it does more damage, like, uh, cause the one guy did like four, 500 while the other one was almost 800. So it's quite a bit of a damage increase. It's just they do more damage. So the toss-up is is quite dangerous. I mean, it did do more damage. It's 216 instead of 144. So I guess it does. It does. Uh, um, it does get better. So. Oh. Uh, with a big old chunk of damage. All right, we gotta be, well, we're almost done with battles anyway, so even if we're not at the top yet. Ooh. Got the Plague Pestle. Pestle. This weapon for Baba improves her poison power. There we go. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's overall better. Contagious. And she didn't have any other abilities that improve her. Uh, her poison ability. Well, I got the rotten egg, of course. So. Uh, but yeah, it seems like, yeah, it seems like obviously raising your ailment will help with that as well. Obviously, if you raise your ailment stat, uh, it's just a, uh, because that doing that obviously pulls and pushes up your, but I don't know how much it raises your ailment. That's the only that's the only thing that I don't know. Oh baby, man, that twenty percent really adds up, huh? Yeah, kind of wish I had that uh his uh charm ability at this point. That would have been really helpful. Oh well. Oof. Stop, stop. Holy cow. Uh, I don't have a stun ability ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need to heal with her. damage per thing. It's really nice. Uh, 
manliness. Manliness. Though they're about to get their turn, that'll help. They'll at least give us a bit of defense against their attacks. It's only one turn, but it works. Uh, everyone's, uh, I haven't been doing much damage to these guys at all. Strong or weak to charm, except it didn't work. Okay, cool. I love it. Oh man, come on. I have to heal. Yeah, better heal. Wait, how much damage did that poison do? Did like 700 damage to that guy? Huh. Just takes a while to set up though, that's the only problem. And of course the longer they stay around, the more damage they do obviously. Super heal you. I wonder how much they gain per level. It seems like it's quite a bit. Like in terms of how much damage they do. All right, let's see. Yeah, we're almost done with the battles. Okay, that just reset. All right, final battle, or final minor battle in the game, so. Yeah, best to get rid of that bad thing. That thing's super annoying. Oh yeah, that thing's annoying too. damage for a uh, decent attack. Uh, I'll wait to use that hyper hyper ability. Uh, let's see, well you're worried. You're not too far from death, so. Powering up for you. Stop it. All right, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, I'll die next turn no matter what. Yeah, I didn't do much damage. Oh well. Attack the bat thing. I feel like disarm doesn't really do what it's supposed to do either. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy. I feel like some abilities really don't work like they're like they're intended. You know. I need to heal everyone. I've been forgetting to do that. Raise up my chicken ability. And using an item is almost pointless. And I was made a much, much damage as that brute. Uh,
Yeah, it almost halves the damage of, uh, of it when you defend. Take that 4,000 damage to the face! Ah, oh, man, I have no, nothing to really use it on. No. Oh, well. Sad when you waste a hyper like that. It's a sad day. A very sad day. Alright, final mi minor battle done. And we hit level 34 with no new abilities. Great. Woo. Oh. Oh, is that... Oh, I thought that was the last battle. Did I? Maybe I miscounted. We got Mistress. His arm for Baba improves our defense capabilities. Uh, cooped up defend plus 30%. Renders the wear barely visible. Uh, it's a lot more HP. There, let me save it really quick. Uh, yeah. Let's see, where are we? Okay. Sorry, she said that earlier. Alright, now it's final battle time. At least I hope it's final battle. I thought that it said final battle. Unless this is that game where you, can, uh, you can't you can finish off your battles because it's the final area. So if you want to get those last little bit of HP uh, bumps. And I kind of wish our poison egg worked on, uh, uh, on everyone. You know what I mean? That'd be awesome. Once we to Earth, maybe I better use my skills, even though my Earth damage isn't super high. But yeah, definitely a fight you don't want to uh, make everyone uh, mad, so that way they don't uh, hit you like with, for a ton of damage. I thought we were done with this, so. Alright, um. Okay, Krampus himself. Just trying to think what abilities I want to have on me. Because I don't. I'm not as optimal as I probably could have been with the. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Hyperizer. What does that do? Oh, yeah, make, makes it automatically hyper. Um, uh, Aegis. It resists next hit. Like, does no damage. That would be. Wouldn't be bad. Uh, let's see. Cat ears is charm. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of the ailments. Let's see, that gives you an unstoppable buff. Mm. And with Bell Snickle's ability to uh, possibly uh, get like get item reuse or whatever, probably not gonna need Charm during the final boss, or at least that version of Charm anyway. Uh, celebrate would be good to equip. Nice strike. I'm just trying to think what I actually want to have because he has the. Which is at the you know, candy, jolly laugh. Do you want to swap off his taunting whip? Back to his taunting whip so he, he does more healing and everything. I mean, I wouldn't be able to use candy any at any time though. That's the only problem. He can use jolly laugh, so maybe I should equip that instead and try to keep getting taunt off all the time on him. And just like cast protect, and but then again, if I heal, I don't need to cast protect because I could just heal it on his turn. Then again, the longer the, the longer the fight goes on, uh, the more damage. So you want to finish off an enemy as efficiently as you can, as quick as you can. I'm almost curious about... But the only problem is I... Well, let's see. She wouldn't have a, enough physical... I'm trying to remember. I think if power affects her... Because I think power does affect her spells. Uh, ailment would only affects like if she stuns people and stuff like that. Eh, maybe keeping the weapon she has is better. Because hmm. I almost want to, I almost want to equip her back with this. The only problem is she loses out on a ton of HP though, and I don't know if that's worth the worth the buff. See, her good buff duration increases when she does that, so I could start with that in her inventory and cast. Uh,
good cheer just cast it on uh you know on someone to get the regen all the time since it increases let's see i said it was like one or two rounds or something like that let's see huh you don't lose too much if i maybe i should give her the aqua cloak instead of that it just it but her healing isn't as good though hmm. yeah, let's see I think I'm good with Cthulhu, even though fire would be nice. I still want his overall. The only only challenge thing would maybe swap out to regenerate the Mary Tunic, but let's see. Like for example, I could I could like this only gives ten everything, so I could just swap out for the growing uh, growing tentacle and get a regen, or give the sharp tentacle and make myself higher for targeting and I would get more damage out of it hmm. I just wouldn't be able to use dark blast every turn but I can always use my sword but then again with that 20% from the void sword I kind of almost want to be able to use use it on a regular basis hmm. okay let's see I think I want I, I do want her to have her poison be available so we'll keep that I guess we're good Yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's go ahead and save it then. And, uh, and, uh... Alright, Krampus. Time for you to get sent to the HL Double Hockey Sticks. Grandfather! Crystal, is that you? I knew you'd come and rescue me. Hey, I'm the one who deserves the credit. It is my name and the title, after all. So this is Cthulhu. I thought you'd be bigger. I was bigger, and then these League of Christmas Evil members stole my powers away from me. And you're gonna give me my powers back, or else. Patience, my cephalopodic friend. Took me a second. You'll get your powers back after I've saved Christmas. But we really can't stay. Even if it's cold outside, we must escape immediately. Aren't you forgetting something? Krampus. To think that Grandpa's little girl would make her way all the way here after battling so many monsters. It's almost heartwarming in a way. Grr. And with the old man with the candy and the whip, I'm just impressed to see that you're still able to move under your own power these days. I manage, although I have been looking for getting one of those self-propelled scooter things. And the infamous Bobby Yaga, when you're older, give me a call. The League of Christmas Evil is always looking for promising new recruits. I think not. I'll start my own League of Christmas Evil and you won't be invited. Yet. <laughs> Yet. It's the very Cthulhu himself to think that you'd betray the forces of evil for your own selfish desires. I will destroy the world and no one is going to stop me. I don't think you have all, all have understood the present that I've given the world. I hope you've kept the receipt because this is one present we're taking back. And we want cash, not store credit. Nah, that's not going to work, buddy. Uh, lady, so just think of it. A world without Christmas. No presents, no expectations. No families get together and pretend to like each other. Eh, that's kind of true. Not all families are like that. Aren't they? Why, dear old Santa here just telling me how much he wished he had a grandson instead of a granddaughter. That's a lie. I was right to put you on the naughty list, Krampus. I am naughty list, Santa, baby. And why should there even be a naughty list? Why should some geezer pass judgment on whether the good is good or bad? Now, my rule be much better. No good, no evil, no laughter, no crying. The world be silent and will be made in my image. Are you done? I think that's it. And that's why you're a loser. I wouldn't stand around talking about destroying the world. I'd just destroy it. Fine. First I destroy your little band of so-called heroes, and then the world shall fall and be reborn. For boss time against Krampus himself. Krampus, uh, 14,400 HP, weak to ice, wind, uh, disarm, and charm. No friend to Santa. Well, I guess that makes sense. So, All right. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Uh, physical damage, vulnerable. He's not weak to vulnerable, though, so that probably wouldn't be useful so uh let's see i'm just seeing what uh well actually vulnerable will work if i am with shield breaker that usually guarantees it uh let's hit him with the uh, torment all right not bad damage okay let's see i uh, get that buff on you uh get my ailment up for uh poison uh let's start let's see uh Guess we'll get regen on you. 
Do we want to make him? Do we want to make him go crazy? I almost don't want to. Because of uh, it kind of early in the battle, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was just saying with something uh, weaker. Now she got disarmed. Uh, okay, what's the? Uh... Oh, we actually got charm on. Uh, let's let's try to get taunt on us if we can. All right, nice. We got poison. Uh, let's, let's get uh, let's get egg on you. I mean, I could still use Shadow Strike, he's just not insane, so he'll still get the damage. It looks like he does fire assist. Uh, well, I use Taunt, but he doesn't want to use Taunt on me. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's get... Yeah, let's try to get our chicken power up a bit. Uh, let's see. Don't really need to heal. Could get some damage in. Uh, don't need the max hyper bar. Yeah, poison did a uh, decent amount of damage. Uh, uh, just think of what the. I gotta keep trying to get him to taunt me, uh, taunt and hit me. So I almost want to defend so I can get poison back again to try and do that again. So uh, I'll wait till after, obviously after hypers done. Huh? He must have a multiple. He has mul multiple phases, I guess. Charmed for let's see what type of damage he does, so let me go ahead and defend with you. Okay, two hundred is the most you can get out of uh out of that, so Oh no <laughs> he made himself vulnerable. Nice. Keep trying to taunt and see if that works. Try to beef up her taunt. Yeah, let's uh, wait for me to get hyper to do that. So. I want to see how much more damage that does now. Oh wow, 1300 damage, so it really, it does stack. Huh, that's cr kind of crazy actually. Maybe it's because of my, my chicken was at max power, maybe that's why that worked. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't want to insane him. to hit me with that, but okay. Wow. All right. I poisoned him to death. <laughs> anyway, we gained a level 35. Gathering dark. Power boost to next mood. 25% per insane enemy. 50 minimum. Uh, peace on earth. 150% stun. Stun user. Stun user. Ugh, that's kind of terrible. Uh, I wouldn't use that. You fight a mean game, Cthulhu. Uh, oh, sorry. If you fight a mean game, Cthulhu, I'll give you that. But you've never been able to defeat me. Today you will not be no different. Never been able to defeat you? What are you talking about? This charade has gone on long enough. Behold my true form. A tall, faceless man of darkness appears before Cthulhu. Narthlatap. The very same. You didn't seriously think you were going to play a Cthulhu game without fighting a Lovecraftian monstrosity, did you? 
My power level par outstrips your own. You don't stand a chance. I'm trying to think, actually, in the grand scheme of things, I think Cthulhu is actually not the, in the at least in the Call of Cthulhu tabletop game, Call of, uh, Cthulhu is actually not the most powerful Cthulhu uh, Lovecrafting horror. I don't know if it's not the tab. I'd have to look at the board game. There's a there's like the board game in the book. One of them explains like the power uh, height of the character, and it might be Narthlotep, Actually, I'd have to look though. That may be true, but you're forgetting one thing. We have the power of friendship on our side. What the? We do? Shh. Just play along. We do. <laughs> like any good RPG protagonist, I'm nurtured. I've nurtured unbreakable relationship bonds with the people of this world. How are those things supposed to defeat me? I don't know, but they will. That's video game logic, and that's the logic that controls our universe. I, I hate the power of friendship winning in the day. That's so stupid. I don't know why. I just hate it. Uh, and, and watching too much anime made me hate the power of friendship. Now fight me if you dare. We got your back, boss. This old man still has some kick in him. You should have stayed in your own mythos. I will rescue Santa and restore Christmas to the world. Arthlotep heals the Krampus. You've gone soft, er, you've gone soft, Cthulhu. It's time for the great sleeper of Relay to go to sleep permanently. All right, it's boss time against Narthletep and Krampus. All right, so Narthletep has uh, 17,189 HP, and he's weak to physical uh, vulnerable, vulnerability and charm. He's the crawling chaos himself. All right. All right, let's, uh, well, obviously Krampus is probably our first priority because you want he's the weakest character. So you want to get rid of him first. And yeah, I'm not going to make anyone insane, at least until like maybe the very end. Power based on insane. All right. Oh, I like the <laughs> nice, uh, nice choice of music here. Yeah, definitely going to have to go with the uh, uh, trying to get poison damage, like just piled on top of a, on top of a, on top of him, so. Uh, oh, right, I don't want to use, uh, let's see. Yeah, I so said even though he's not insane, he'll still do okay damage. Uh, let's try, I'm just trying to get defend on you. Uh, I'll wait, I'll use poison next. But, yeah, it's, it's whatever its next ailment is, so as long as I don't do, uh, that power's ailment, so. Uh, let's get cheer going on someone. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely like the music for the end there. Let's see if we can get a uh, taunt going. Okay, that's not gonna work for an Arthlet app, that's for sure. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Christmas Eve. <laughs> All right. Probably should heal. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Oh yeah, I never used. Well, I was gonna wait to use the times ten on a. Uh, yeah, let's heal. All no, I did. I forgot he had a, a more damage of HP is low, but uh, it's not gonna do a ton of damage, so I might as well just. Uh, yeah, let's defend again so we can start busting up that uh, uh can you stack ailment power-ups uh, now i'm kind of curious actually uh, don't really need it need a uh, I'll try powering up her, uh, making her egg maximum before, before poisoning uh, Krampus again. Yeah, as long as I don't like, uh, as long as I don't, uh, it must, it does. I don't know if it really stacks per se. I guess you have to do it quite a few times for it to like really add up. You know, maybe we should try to get. Now, 
Um, okay, I guess we could do that and then, uh, okay, I need to, I want to, I want to at least stun him one more time before, or, uh, I mean, um, I hit him with another poison before, okay. Uh, is that only for me? Well, I don't have any attacks, so that would be pointless. That's the charge so far. 80? Okay. Just a couple more turns. Now oh, he's got vulnerable on him. Yeah, it's going. Con. I need to get some ult, ult, multi heals going on them. Yeah, it looks like that's the maximum for a poison because it didn't it didn't do any better, more damage. So okay, good to know. Uh, that recharges. He'll die from poison, so we can I guess we can leave him alone. Uh, actually, it's just a. T yeah, it's uh. Because we need to get some healing going on there. Whoa! Okay, so. She doesn't have any healing, so. Dark damage based off poison damage, huh? Oh, nice. That was actually pretty good. Uh. Uh, his damage is starting, starting to add up, so I need to uh, need to finish him off here pretty soon. Otherwise, he's going to do a ton of damage to me. need to heal like really really badly though um well yeah let's use a okay we're actually, actually we're at maximum charge right so uh i need to start charging up uh one one girl so okay that next poison is going to finish you off so i don't have to worry about that so Defend with her, see if I can get some heal going on. So, yeah, same with you. Oh, uh, I hate to hate to defend during a. Uh, that's what's uh, use up uh, the cracking ability. Yeah, that's the best I was gonna get out of that. So. Uh, actually, do taunting doesn't matter for Narcolatep because he, he hits you all no matter what. So maybe I should have equipped him with the candy reuse ability. That would have been more useful for this fight overall. Actually, if I can regen and stuff like that, since he doesn't do a ton of damage. Let's see. 
damage yet. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, if I can defend on her turn and then get her to maximum chicken, we can use her ability to see how much damage that does. Uh, chicken feed. And I'll do it on her turn. I'll wait to do that on her next turn. Let's see. Heal Cthulhu. Boof up her damage. Yeah, the, looks like I'm not going to get much more out of poison, so. Alright. Let's go and use uh, the Chick Thulu and see how much damage that does. 3,000? I wonder if it would have done more with uh, Cthulhu because it's dark damage. Well, it's still a lot of damage, so it's not, not nothing. It's just, uh, you know. Would prefer to, would prefer to send it a little bit better. Alright, let's go and defend with you. I said I don't want to make him insane, so. Oh, I forgot to show off what Krampus looks like insane before I killed him. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> I should show off Narthlatap being insane before before that's all done, though. Might as well see what uh, happens with Narthlatap, uh... Narthotep does whatever he does when he's charmed or whatever. Oops. I didn't mean to hit me with that, but okay. Not, not bad. Uh, I'm going to try poison one more time with her hyper and see, if, see what that does. If his power is starting to go up, I, have to, I actually have to start. Uh, oh, I thought I had poison available. Okay. the best I'm going to get out of that, so, all right. Uh, what's the ailment? 100%. At least I still got items to use, but, uh, oh, he's almost gone. Might as well show, I'll show off what happens when he goes insane. Oh, nice. Too bad he does a ton of damage now. Bye-bye, <laughs> Narclotep. Why are we still getting levels? The game's over. Anyway, did get any new abilities? Oh, we got Slap Sense. So for Bell's Nickel, 125% physical damage removes insane. That could have been brought to my attention yesterday! Defeated twice in one game just cannot be! You may have won this time, Cthulhu, but someday, possibly, the sequel will return and destroy you. Well, this was made in 2019, so. Goodbye, Narthlatap. Don't let the cosmos kick you on the way out. Narthlatap and Krampus disappear. 
We've done it. We saved Santa. We saved Christmas. Cthulhu Saints Christmas has a nice ring to it, doesn't it, boss? Don't rest on, uh, don't rest on your Christmas laurel wreaths yet. I still have work to do. Why is Christmas Eve? Santa, if you don't mind me being delicate, you're a bit ripe. Might I suggest a bath first? There's no time. If I don't deliver presents to all the children of the world, Christmas won't come. I must be off. And with that, Santa runs off at a speed far faster than his age or size would possibly suggest possible. Hey, wait, I haven't got my powers back yet. My presents. Cthulhu, Crystal, Baba Yaga, and Belsnick will return to Christmas land and await the coming of the next day. It is now Christmas Eve, the 43rd. A new day has arrived, and it's still not Christmas. What? That can't be possible. Did you see the calendar announcement page? The UI doesn't lie. It's Christmas Eve, the 43rd. After all my hard work, I got a text message from Santa this morning. He said, Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why it's not Christmas yet. I'll keep trying to make my deliveries and search the ancient books of Christmas lore for an answer. Could there be another villain we need to defeat? That couldn't be poss possibly be the problem. That's crazy talk. Another boss that we defeat what was clearly the final boss? Ridiculous. Must be that your power for relationship wasn't strong enough. You may not have to spend even more time with the people in this world. How tiring. Well, we do have a few more days until the next major story beat. Let's get this over with. It is now Christmas Eve the 44th. Yeah, it's not quite over yet, folks. Yeah, you thought it was the you thought it was the finale, but it's not. Uh, let's see. Well, we've already maxed out everyone else's uh, uh, items. Oh, oh, here we go. Now we can finally do Baba and and uh, uh, Crystal. All right, let's get the true egg. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Baba Yaga. I was hoping you'd visit. You're going to figure out how to beat this game's boss. I know you will. But then what do I do? I know the stories say I'm going to grow up to be a mean old hag, but I wonder. I've gotten, a, I've kind of gotten used to this whole hero stick. Maybe I should stick with it. I could wonder the countryside in my chicken hut, righting wrongs and bankruptcy evil. People would regale each other with tales of my valor while sipping eggnog and eating omelets. Bobby God, the heroine, has a nice ring to it. Or I could just go full blood evil and terrorize small children. Haven't decided yet, weighing the pros and cons. Cthulhu senses that he's forced, forged a lasting relationship with the chicken aficionado Baba Yaga Chan. When did that come from all of a sudden? Take this, I mean it myself. Cthulhu receives a necklace with a beautiful egg attached. If you don't want to wear it, you could always give it back. Could have some useful effects in combat. Cthulhu got the true egg. The accessory for Baba Yaga increases the maximum possible amount of chicken power she can have at one time. So more than 200%. It's over 9,000! Anyway, the 45th of Christmas, Eve. So let's get the blazing sword from Crystal. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Crystal. Let's go to the beach. Cthulhu and Crystal go to the beach. No one else is there today. The waves are so high, or here are so high. My hometown of Relay emits a lot of energy in the surrounding waters. It's almost like having a hot spring by the ocean. Maybe I'll go in for a dip then. Good thing I brought a swimming suit. I wouldn't do that. Relay also emits a good deal of toxins into the water. It's quite poisonous to most life forms. Black, no swimming for us then. Ah, oh, come on, you gotta give the girls a swimsuit episode. We demand it. Nah, I don't care. It's just funny. The animators were no, uh, who no longer have to draw alternate character art are grateful. <laughs> Let's make some sandcastles. The trick is to get them a little wet and then freeze the water molecules. Crystal quickly manages to build a massive sandcastle. Cthulhu becomes disappointed at a slower speed and gives up. I've had enough of this. You just need to practice. Here, let me show you. The time passes, followed by more time passing. See, you built a great sandcastle. People who patronize the great Cthulhu regret it. Didn't we have an episode where he built like that? Ah, whatever. So tell me about Relay. Not a lot of sandcastle building there. What's there to say that hasn't been sung about in length and unholy script? It's underwater, wet, and full of non included in space. Most people don't last 10 minutes before going completely mad. I'd like to see it one day. You know what? I'd like that too. Really? That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. No, seriously. I think going mad would do a world of... Uh, I think going mad would do you a world of good. I take that back. You're a jerk. While building sandcastles, Cthulhu found a long-lost weapon hidden in the sand. Cthulhu got a blazing sword. This weapon for Cthulhu boosts his fire damage. Yeah, that was a joke at the end of Cthulhu Saves the World too, uh, about going mad. It is now Christmas Eve, the 46th. All right, let's go see Crystal again for the Christmas cloak. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Crystal. We've really come a long way. When I first met you, you were an annoying 
solipi uh, solipsistic monster. Thanks for noticing. And you still are an annoying sol solipsistic monster, but I guess I don't mind as much now. I know your true love doesn't really show up until the next game, but another game with another script. Let's see, who's the who's the female character in the first ga uh, the first game? Now I'm trying to remember. Uh, it was Cthulhu, a a, a, uh, a, a uh, Medusa. Who's the other character though? God, it's been forever since I played Cthulhu Saves the World. That was back in like was it 20, 2016 or something like that or twenty fifteen? Wow. Anyway, that's no, that's crazy talk. Another side effect of hanging out with me. Here, I want you to have this. Cthulhu receives a meltable, uh, meltable icicle. The icicle transforms into a cloak. Cthulhu got a Christmas cloak. This accessory for Crystal guarantees certain insanity abilities at the start of a battle. I just want you to know that no matter what happens, I'll always be your friend and ally. Cthulhu senses that he's forged a lasting relationship with a snowman crystal. Now let's finish this incredibly silly game together. It's now Christmas Eve, the 47th. All right. Uh, what what can we get now? Now that we maxed out everyone's abilities. Uh. Let's see. Now let's try Eldritch Tunic. Why not? In a bar, Cthulhu discovers a lead on a cool expedition. Cthulhu sends Crystal Baba and Belsnickel to go complete it. Crystal Baba and Belsnickel return. We left Christmas Land and we started to miss you. Seriously, boss, why don't you ever come on us with these things? I had a good feeling about staying here. We thought all about our amazing adventures and discovered the power of nostalgia. And the power of friendship. And the power of chickens. It was a big success. You got the Eldritch Tunic. This armor for the Cthulhu grants some immunity to ailments. It's now Christmas Eve the 48th. Four more days of relationship building and it's still not Christmas. Maybe this wasn't, that wasn't the problem. Of course it wasn't the problem. You're just like seeing me suffer. I've been thinking about the situation some more and I think I may have the answer. What exactly is the problem that we're facing here? This game won't just won't end. Not enough chickens? Bagark! Time is standing still. That's, there's the rub of the matter. Time won't progress. And how is that supposed to help us solve anything? But think, what Christmas novel is about time manipulation? How should I know? I'm Cthulhu. I don't read Christmas novels. Maybe if I ever got any Christmas presents, someone might have given me a Christmas book to read. A Christmas Carol, that's it. And who is in the Christmas Carol is the most sinister being in the ball? Ebenezer Scrooge. Except by the end of the book, he becomes a better man and then some. I thought you didn't read Christmas books. I saw the movie. Multiple movies. Which one's your Which one's your favorite, viewers? I like Alistair Sims myself. And uh, was it Michael Caine and uh, Ebony and uh, Chris, Muppets Christmas Carol is particularly entertaining for me. Uh, no, Ebenezer Scrooge is powerless. Besides, he's reformed at the end. That's the whole point of the book. The Ghost of Christmas Present is jovial. The Ghost of Christmas Past is nostalgic. That only leaves the Ghost of Christmas Future. Well, well, well. I never thought you'd figure it out. This timeline tires me. Let's speed things up to their natural conclusion. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Behold, a future without Santa. Where is everybody? A world full of damned souls seeking my guidance. Yes, you're going to die. Yes, you're not going to repent. Yes, I'm going to laugh at your misfortune. Here, I am the end. What happened to you? You used to be so nice under the grim facade. I'll tell you what happened. I saw the ultimate future. With the joy of Christmas influencing the world year after year, not just individuals got better, humanity improved. Eventually, with no more lost souls, I was out of a job, and with no need of my, serv my services, my existence ended. And he but here, my existence is secure. Here, I reign supreme. But at what cost? You've lost your soul. Nobody destroys the world but me. Do you hear that? I'm ending this. If you make it past my minions, you're welcome to try. You'll fail. Fail. I've already seen it happen. This world is a shadow of things that may be only. Why show us this if you're past all hope? We're going to beat some sense into you. If you won't accept death with grace, then so be it. Death without honor it is. You'll ruin the day you ever met me. Do things the hard way. All in the same way. All right, well, that's with uh, Narth Latep and Krampus out of the way. We thought the true villains were gone, but no, as the ghost of Christmas pa uh, Christmas yet to come has has stopped us in our tracks with this time dilation. What will happen in this reused map 
as we as we fight, uh, walk our way towards death sounds like some poem or something you would read in a uh, Edgar Allan Poe novel or some some uh, uh, book about death or something crazy like that but whatever it is perhaps we'll we'll uh, dance with the devil in the pale moonlight in the true finale of Cthulhu saves Christmas thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time